In these patients, it's all about balancing relapse risk and risks for uh, the different consolidation treatments we have. So there are two main options. One is chemo consolidation with high dose sidarabin. The other one is um, allogeneic stem cell transplantation, whereas transplant is associated with a higher treatment-related mortality and lower relapse rate. With chemo consolidation, tolerability is better, but the relapse rate is higher. And um, by figuring out how um, high the relapse risk is for different NPM1 FLT3 ITD constellations. Um, I try to give a recommendation on which patients with which constellations should proceed to chemo consolidation and which patients should proceed to allogeneic stem cell transplantation. I think uh, there are two main uh, developments. One is that we are learning more about um, minimal residual disease, MRD, and we will be able to tailor our treatment um, on the level of MRD, on the level of responsiveness of the disease to uh, the treatments we're applying. That's one thing. And the other thing is that um, new drugs, targeted therapies um, for FLT3 ITD um, uh, positive patients will become available, such as uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors. There are a couple of uh, promising drugs like serafinib, midostorin, uh, or quizartinib that are under clinical development at the moment. And if they can show, if they can prove um, to be efficacious in those patients with the tree ITD mutation, they might become a standard of treatment in combination with, uh, with chemotherapy for those patients.